Hello and welcome to www.librarium.net. I'm Moses Boko Tamasin. I'm in Philadelphia, Southwest Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We are here today to meet with a young librarian from the International. We want to talk to him because he has a mission for his church, his people. So we are going to take you in there so you can see the people in the church and thereafter we're going to conduct an interview with the pastor of this church. He has a message for you. So we are Moses Popo Tamasi. They may have almost a hundred thousand contacts on his website. He has African made that left. Everything that you want from Africa, he has that website. And you he has the African YouTube. The people you see YouTube are black people YouTube. Amen and amen. And I told him this to him. He said, Pastor, I'm coming Sunday to get a click. And I will go on my website and download that. That you will be live. And asking these people about this one million people for one dollar. Now the operation is, we don't want to experience what we experience in the basement. The basement three months will not continue us. People will come and will send them back home. And that was not good for us. We relocated to Woolen. And Woolen people will come. They will send them back to no space. And we don't want to have the same experience here. How many of you know that we're getting smaller for this place? The building is getting smaller for us. Amen? Say amen. So what we want to do is that we want to go ahead so that we can experience the Woolen experience and the basement experience on Beewitch Avenue. And that we saw the building that is costing us one million because it was over a million and a half but we negotiated with the owner of the building and came down to one million. And I told God, what are we going to do now? He said the next thing is that launch an operation. Reach one million people asking for one dollar. You will reach the one million. Amen? Amen. And that is what we are here. We have launched that last week Sunday we launched this ministry. And our website is open www.bhfi.org You will go there and see the option. Tell your friend. Those of you that have Facebook account, just tell your friend we only need a dollar. Your friend will tell another person we need a dollar. Or take your phone. There are letters here that you can call to and you can send to your friends, people that you know, noble people in your community at your website or your workplaces. Tell them that that is what we want. We are raising this phone for a big church for us. Amen and amen. amen. And I told mine, I gave my wife, I said maybe she got her own back there. And I brought my own back today. The whole spirit is filled and with the money. Where's the money? That will put the head together for me. Amen and amen. So we support the Matthew Jack is the operation. We are appealing to those of you that have websites, that have people, that have contact information. Give them their addresses, give them the information so that we can contact them to please help us raise this phone for the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Let me hear you say amen. amen. And every time you come, there is an envelope over there. Only one that just put a dollar in this box. And if you put that out there, you have just reached one person. If you put two dollars there, you have reached two persons. If you put ten dollars there, you have reached ten persons. In Jesus' name, if you put hundred dollars, you have reached hundred persons. Somebody say amen. amen. And we want to bless God for this operation. We want all of you to help us so that we can reach this one. Three months from now, by the grace of God, we'll be coming back with a good report. And pray for us. I know it's not easy. But with God on our side, all things are possible. We want to bless God for all of our guests that came to witness this wonderful occasion and a regular service tonight. We want to say God bless you. I mean, your day here today is not a waste. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we want to bless God for our pastor, Bishop. We want to bless God for you. God bless you. Before we just call the man of God to just come and take over and close us in this meeting, let's hear from Bishop Oyabi. Let him just come and just tell us thank you and love you and tell you hello. Put your hands together for Bishop. Yeah, okay. Hello and welcome to 
to Service. We are coming to you live in Philadelphia Southwest. We are very happy today to be in the midst of a young, promising Liberian pastor who has a dream, a vision, and today I want to share that vision with you. He wants to speak to you. And so, to begin, I'm going to ask him. He also here with some other pastor. They want to call their name, and they will, the pastor will go along with what he has to tell the world. So, uh, can you please introduce yourself to the Liberian people, to the people all over the world, and your mission? Uh, I'm Pastor Anthony Kawasimi, uh, the senior pastor for the Victory Harvest Fellowship International, uh, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Georgia, and Liberia. Uh, with me today, I'm grateful to have uh, Mr. Emo Omotamati, who happened to come to cover this event. And I really appreciate God for you and your time. And also, we have one of the fathers that God is raising in our community. You know, he's a father and the one who always instruct and give instruction. And we are pleased to have Bishop Samuel Boyabi. He's in our May all the way from Ohio. And also, we have Apostle John, all the way from Freetown, Australia. It's grateful, and I'm so grateful for them to be present with us here in the country. God bless you. Okay, Pastor, thank you very much, and so we are here to be here. So, what is it exactly you want to tell the real history of your church, and what exactly, what, what's your vision, what are you trying to do? Uh, the Vegetarian Harvest Fellowship International was very in transition in Ghana to be specific and then after the law make an open doors for us to travel to the US and um, with all the passion and the dream that we have but I believe in kingdom investment and uh, when I entered for the deaf I saw the need and uh, when I saw the work and that uh, the senior pastor of the Church of the Living God where prayer was started I saw the name and I decided that the Lord led me to be part of that work for four years. You know, because I know that kingdom investment is not a waste. And I believe in the philosophy that say whatever you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. That's right. And after my mission was over, God told me to step out and say how to say leave that we made. And three years now we've been in existence by the grace of God when the Lord brought this ministry we started on be with Avenue in the basement for three months. That's Southwest for the Deaf United States of Southwest America. Southwest for the right? Deaf United States. Three months. Three months. And uh, the place could not contain us. People would come and they would send them back home because lack of space. And God blessed us when we located on Woolen. And Woolen also we experienced the same for two years. We were there and the place could not contain us. Every time people come to service, they have to send them back home, you know. And um, God opened another door to relocate us on Sister Pathfinder M.O. Avenue. And now that we're saying that again, uh, the place is getting smaller, we don't want to sit down to wait and experience what we experienced on Beeway Avenue and Woolen. That's right. And so that's why I've been asking God about what we are doing right now. And God opened my eyes to see a place. And after that, I saw the place, the charging. I mean, what kind of place are you talking about? A sanctuary. Okay. A building that we will want to use for the purpose of God. For oh, you saw a bigger building than this building? building that we found three of this building right now in that building that we want to purchase for God. But it's going for one million now. And I saw. That's one reason why God gave birth to this operation. He said, Operation Building a House. Okay, so the Lord. Focus the camera on it exactly. It reads Victory Harvest International presents Operation Build Me a House, said the Lord. Exodus 25 1 to 8, reaching 1 million people for one dollar. Reaching 1 million people for one dollar. Thank you, Pastor. This is a very great uh, 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 vision, and there are people listening now um, in Liberia, the Liberian government, our senators, representatives are all watching you, the Liberian ambassador in France, in Germany, and other Ghanaians, everywhere they are watching you. So how can people help you? What do you want it to do exactly? If you, you want help from them, what do you want it to do? Like, if they want to send you 
maybe money or contribution or donation. What are some of the donations are you expecting? Is it just cash or can be in kind? And how can that how can they reach to you? Um for those of you that are watching off from Liberia all over the world. It's a crusade, it's a campaign we are launching by the grace of God and we believe in God. Because the Bible says there's nothing too hard for the Lord. And we are asking you that whatever means you can help us to raise this money for the work of God. Because the Bible says in Habakkuk or Hagar, go into the mountains, bring the chamber, bring the gold, the diamond, and build the house for the Lord. Whatever means. We have a website www.bhfr.org Can you say that you again? Click. Can you a website it? where the donation you know will, will be received just log on www.bhfr.org The moment you log in you will see donation and the options will be there and our word to you is to be encouraged and encourage friends, loved ones people that you know that can help us raise this home for the work of God because there's nothing you do for the Lord in vain. One dollar to reach one million minimum. people. Minimum. But whatever the Lord laid on your heart, the Bible says that to whom much is given, much is required. And I know that kingdom investment is not a waste. So it's not on and you just go the option there and people that have contact information, tell them to help us raise this phone for the Lord. Thank you, Pastor. So one of the ways is the website. Now, what about some people who may not have access, they don't want to use the website. Some people don't want to use, they don't like to use their credit card online, they don't trust it. Uh, what your address, can you specifically give your address? Maybe they can send through Western Union. Do you accept that Western Union? Because in Liberia or Ghana or Sahara, you know, people can easily send money through Western Union. That is guaranteed. So you also accept money in Western Union. And what would be the name they can send that money to? Amen and amen. And those of you that will not have children in Africa, maybe credit card, you don't have the opportunity to use your credit card. You know, um, our address is 6500 MU Avenue. 6500 MU Avenue to the death of You want to spell MU? MU is E L M W O O D. MU Avenue to the death of P A 19142. That is our address, Victory Harvest Fellowship International. If you just write that address and whatever information that you will put in, it will reach us. Again, our address is Victory Harvest Fellowship International, 6500 MU Avenue, ELM WOOD. Philadelphia PA 19142. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Pastor. There are some people maybe who may want to call you. Is that okay? Can somebody call you regarding this particular, uh, uh, maybe some organization, charitable organizations, you know, or other Christian churches, both in America, around the world? Is that like an email address to if someone wants to write to you? Do you want to say that? Is that okay? They can write to you? That's correct. Uh, you can also get us through our email. Uh, my email is singapore, S E N G B E number 4 at 